out of here right now. I'll kill him, you understand? I'm damn serious. Let my son go. My son, child. Look, look, I'm leaving, all right? I, I don't want anything from you. Give me my son back, please. Just look at you. Huh? You couldn't even take care of yourself if you wanted to. You look like you live in a garbage dump. The kid's okay with me. I give him this dope. He does a couple of jobs, eats his food and sleeps in a good bed with a roof over his head. What would happen if you took him, huh? You deserted him for years. Why should I give him to you, huh? Please, I'm begging you. Please give my son back to me. Okay, I let him go. What about these, huh? I guess you're going to take care of them too? Ha <laughs> ha. I will if I have to. Anything to keep him out of your hands, you degenerate. Let my child go. How can I trust you, huh? Once you get out of here, you're going straight to the police. Am I right? Huh? 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 What the hell? Huh? You set me up! Which? No one messes with me! Ma'am, ma'am, are you okay? Please call me mommy just this once, my son. Just this once. Mommy. <laughs> my children! <laughs> Try to run off! It's ah! just me, Helm. It is Ali. Oh! <laughs> Damn serious. Hello, can I help you? Ali, my boy, we will never be apart anymore. I won't ever leave you again. Ali? Son? Where are you? Ali, where did you go, son? This place, where am I? What is this place? A place where time can be seen from all perspectives. All perspectives of time? What's that mean? Actually, never mind. I need to find my son. We are in a different time and dimension. You won't find Ali here. But why? He was right here with me. I had just found him after years and then you suddenly appeared to me. My sudden appearance is merely an illusion. It is more accurate to say that I have always been with you. Oh my goodness. But how? I'm seeing you for the first time and I don't remember you. Who are you anyway? I'm not a man, but a mirror, which reflects your past and your future, the measure of your deeds. This is the gate to the land of peace. A place to reap what you have sown. The seeds of your deeds which you planted in your life have grown their roots and borne their fruit. This fruit has fallen from the tree of life. The crop must now be gathered. So then, this place, then I'm... You are. This is the time of harvest. Here we will look back on your life. Uh, so you're telling me that I've died? Death is an awakening from the dream of life. You are now awake. You're wrong. I can't have died. I couldn't possibly leave my children alone again. Tell me your name. I'm Ed Sarp. And how old are you? I'm 14 years old. And you? Ismail Injekara. Uh. 12 years old. 12 years old. I came old. from Edirne Kapi. All right, you? Rajab. Rajab, and how old are you? I'm 10 years old. I don't know my last name. Oh. Officer, nothing happened to anybody, right? I'm sorry, you can't pass. Please. Oh, please, let me see. You can't come in. Ali? Oh, excuse me. Do you know my son, Ali? Uh, Ali? Where are you? Majide? Ali? 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 Majide? 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 Ali? They could have seen that woman. My daughter, my son. She was your mother, dear. She was your mother. I didn't die. I can't stand to see you crying, my babies. I can't stand. I'm right here. I'm Is not she really dead. gone? She was dead for long before we found her. I didn't die. I didn't. I didn't. No, I'm here. I didn't die. Oh, my daughter. Son. 
<laughs> Machi day! <laughs> Give me another chance. I am their mother. I already lost my children once. I just found them. Found them, yes. But your anxiety about losing them made things much more difficult. You said that you lost them, and then you found them again. But just as that event brought new meaning to your world, the world itself has changed around you. The mortal world is transient. You must let go all you held dear. It's what you bring here that matters. I don't suppose it would be possible for me to meet my children here. That can only be determined after all your deeds are displayed. What do you mean? First of all, you will be confronted by anyone you may have wronged or have treated unjustly, so they may seek recompense. This confrontation is most difficult. The parent will flee from their child, a friend from their friend. Everyone runs from everyone else who stands against them in judgment. Brother will not know brother, nor parent know their own children. How can somebody run from their child? They will run away if they have not done what they should have for their child. They will run if they have not taught them what they should have. They will run away if they have violated their divine rights. Where can they run away to? To a place where they reunite to make restitution. The accounting is difficult. The road long, the pass is narrow. There are deep waters and raging rivers. The road is hard. But for those whom God aids, it is but a tiny obstacle passed in an instant. I didn't used to be like this. I was different. I am ashamed to be like this now. I had a nice home and a happy family. I thought it would always be like that. I'm getting an early start today. I won't be getting back home before nightfall. All righty, Smile. I'll bring you your lunch at noon, and I'll bring the kids with me. You don't have to do that, Fatma. No trouble. The kids like to get out. Have a good day, my dear. Halt, my friend. What is it? What's the matter? My friend, Ishmael. Halit, please have a seat. Thank you, my dear. I wanted to ask you something. I... I have to go into town often, but I can't stand the pain in my leg any longer. I don't have a penny to my name. There's nothing for me to eat at home. I was wondering if you could help me out at all. I am so ashamed. I feel like a beggar. It's all right. Don't talk like that. Why, we would be delighted to help. What are neighbors for? You must come and eat with us from now on. There's always food in the pot. But we don't have any money, Hallett. We are very poor, too. I'm sorry we can't help with that. <sighs> come on inside. Let's get you some food. I'm sure God will show us a way. Come. <sighs> I am exhausted. I am worn out. Man, I cannot keep working like this. But it's not even noon yet, Hilby. What if the boss sees you? I don't care. So what if he sees me? He's been frowning at me for the past few days. As well he should. His crop is dried up. It's ruined. And if it was me, I would be upset too. Good for you, Ismail. I guess with that kind of compassion, you're going straight to heaven. What is that supposed to mean? I try to act like I should. The rest is up to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the best worker of all. You don't even go home in the morning. Careful. Tell Fatma how good you are. Say, I work for Master Member till noon for free because God loves me. How are you, Fatma? Not too bad. Are you taking a break? We sure are. Come to Papa, my little man. <laughs> How's my little girl doing? <laughs> Help yourself, Hilmi. 
Thanks, Fatma. What happened? Did you work your problem out? No, Fatma. We didn't work it out. Please help! Help me, please! My baby is dying! Come help me, please! Ismail, hold please. Elif. Please come help me! My baby is dying! Come help! My baby is dying! Please help me! She was lying in my lap and then she stopped breathing. She was lying just like that. What's wrong? Please help me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> God bless you and your family, Fatma. God bless you every day of your lives. God bless your family also, Feliz. I'm going to go back to my children. Wait, Fatma. Look, I want to give you something. Please take this and you can buy something for your kids. Mm. Come on, you just saved my baby's life. No, Feliz. God is the only one who can save any of our lives. What could I possibly have done by myself? Put that money back in your pocket. Use it for your child or help some poor person. Oh, please take the money, Fatma. If you don't take it, I'll feel horrible. Mm. Thank you. What was that? Did Fatma take money from Felice? That's what I saw. Felice handed her what she had saved, but... Fatma must be really greedy. She used to be a nice girl, but I guess being poor has changed her for the worse. See? Didn't I tell you we could trust God to show a way? Lord bless you, child. Bless you, too. Thank you. He smile. When I was coming back from the field, I thought of something. And what was that? Don't keep me in suspense. Our Uncle Recep has a house, right? Not too far oh. from there, if you go about a hundred steps or so towards your field, You'll find that there's a great big ant hill there. And? They say that there's lots of water where there are ants. I guess it's because ants go where the water is. Every time I go over there, there are lots of ants around. If you just dug, if you go down as far as you can, then maybe. You're saying there might be water? Uh-huh, there might be. You are really smart, Fatma. The first thing I'll do tomorrow is check that area out. Only on one condition. Promise you won't hurt even one of those innocent little ants. <laughs> Just dig around them, and be careful not to destroy the nest of those tiny creatures. <laughs> <laughs> Boss! Mehmet, sir! It was here! It was right here beside us! I found water for the crops! Right nearby! There! Right over here! Hold on. Just calm yourself down. I found water for the crops. Let's tell the boss. Give him some peace of mind. Who are you feeling sorry for, Isma? The big boss? What do you care if his crop dries up? I'm surprised that you heal me. I guess what Fatma said about you is true. What'd she say? What the hell does Fatma say about me? So it's your wife who's turned you against me. Listen, man, she's your wife and she's great. But even the best women are crazy. I'll pretend I didn't hear you say that. We should tell the boss, Hilmi. This is where we make our living. What's going on, Ismail? There's water. It's right over there. What did you say, Hilmi? Where? How? Well, Ismail's the one who found it, sir. <laughs> Tell us, Ismail. There, sir. Next to the field, if you can believe it. <laughs> Good for you, eh? Thank God. Thank the Lord in heaven. There it is. Your wife is a real genius. Her intelligence is greater than that of 40 men. He smiled. You are not going to work as a laborer anymore. Kamal is going to take you and train you. Come early tomorrow morning because I have a special job for you. You're buying some tractors. 
And from now on, you're my personal employee. Good for you, son. Ismail, I know you're a good man. Just look at that water. Praise the Lord. You better get going now. Don't be late. What's this? I'll be carrying a lot of money, Fatma. I must be able to protect it. But Ismail, you might have an accident. God forbid. Don't you worry yourself. How are you today, Ismail? Nice morning for a walk. How are you doing, Hilmi? So why are you up so early? Huh? What's going on? Do you know how much money the boss is going to give you? Enough for two tractors. Why? That's such a sign of trust. Congratulations. Listen, Ismail. You couldn't earn the money for two tractors if you worked in the fields night and day for 150 years. Of course I couldn't. But what of it? Ismail, listen carefully. This is serious. You take this money and go on into town. But don't go to meet Kamal. Don't worry about anything. I'll be sure to take care of it. I'll get Fatma to help with the rendezvous. You have got to use your head, man. You're not going to get another chance at this. I am not a thief. Or a backstabber, Hilmi. What's taking him so long? Here he comes, boss. Forgive me, sir. There was a matter at home I had to take care of. That's why I'm late. Sorry. Well, we'll overlook this for now. Come with me. No more problems at home. Do you understand me? Otherwise, you'll go back to the fields. You must protect this. You have to earn my trust, Ismail. Don't forget it. I promise, sir. Don't let me down. Be sure you take the address with you. Are you packing a pistol? I got it right here. All set. Now listen to me carefully. Get this straight. I'll meet you in the... I don't believe it. What do you want, Helmy? That should do. Don't do it, Helmy. You're an incredibly stubborn man. Better a stubborn man than an incredibly stupid one. Helmy, I'm reaching the end of my patience. Just get out of my way. <clears throat> Thinking smile. Huh? Does the boss really need that much money? Come on, you give that money to me. I won't take a penny from anybody, Hilmi. Everything you do now, you pay for later. Did you ever think that if you did a good thing for me, you might actually earn a place in heaven? <clears throat> hey, what's the rush, man? You going somewhere? Tell me, look, back off or I'm going to have to tell the police or the boss. Fatma warned me, but I didn't listen. What did Fatma say, huh? That wife of yours knows too much, huh? One of these days, somebody will shut her up. Let go of me, Hilmi. <laughs> Hilmi, put it down. I asked for Fatma's hand way before you married her, you idiot. What are you talking about, Hilmi? My mother asked for Fatma from her mother. You hadn't even come to the village yet. I didn't get Fatma. Can you imagine? I was so humiliated, damn it. You can meet your wife on the other side. I don't think she's going to be here much longer anyway. You filthy, wretched. <laughs> now it's your turn to lose face. See what it's like to be ashamed. <laughs> My son will grow up big and strong and go to school and be a soldier, just like his handsome father. Isn't that right?
What's happened? Fatma, something horrible happened. Ismail, somebody must have robbed him on the road. Oh, my dear Lord. No, wait, come down. Where is he? My poor husband, I hope he's all right. Well, he's somewhere on the hilltop. I'm pretty sure. <sighs> come on, son. Come, 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 come. Uh, all right, wait, wait. Run, 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 son, run. Oh, no, oh, my God, run. That's it. That's it, dear. I'm coming. Just a moment. What is it, Fatma? Dear, did something bad happen? Majide, I'm giving you Ali. Take care of him. But I... See that? There she is by her husband's body. What a shame. Poor Ismail. Ismail, please. I witnessed the whole fight. Ismail shouted, I'm not a thief. And then when they were fighting, she got the gun. Fatma threatened him. She said, I'll kill you. Now hand it over. I heard. She pointed the weapon right at Ismail's mm. stomach. What a shame. He was late to work. I asked him to explain, and he said he had trouble at home. You should have thought about this before you killed your husband. Kill me, what are you saying? You're not going to get away with playing the role of a grieving woman. You're going to pay for killing your husband. You're insane! You liar! You tricked me! You're the one who told me about this! Let go of me! It's a lie. You are a suspect. You're under arrest until this is investigated. Just oh. calm down. Oh, Give us the baby. Child. Easy. My Remain child. calm. My Come baby! Let's go. Found the evidence, sir. Mm hmm. I just found the bag. Take it to the station house. We'll take pictures later. Our job is finished. We have all the evidence. Come on, get in. <laughs> you feel humiliated now, Fatma? Run, run, run. Run, 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 darling. <sighs> Let's check the thermometer. I'm still really out of it. What's 
Mm -hmm. with my ankles. Just as I thought. I need more You'll be fine in a day or two. Oh, oh, my back. Just get lots of sleep. Don't worry about the swelling. Please, God, I'm so sorry. I tried to kill myself, but they saved me. It was God who saved you. Or you would have committed a serious crime against the sacred life which God had entrusted to you. I knew it was a sin, but I couldn't take it anymore. I thought that my strength, my resilience, everything all of it had left me. God never gives us more suffering than we're able to endure. And what happened did not simply occur without a real purpose. I had lost all hope, but I found it again. God gave me the strength and power to bear the burden. But at the time, I was helpless to fend off the gnawing despair. I couldn't understand why I deserved to suffer. All praise be to God. What a divine mercy. Witness its purity. Do you wonder where this power came from? I do. The ants. You protected when you were digging that well. Are creatures who proclaim with such strength their great praise for their existence and praise for God's divinity. And they recite God's name and praise those who keep from sinning by respecting even the smallest of the Almighty's creations. They protected you in this great confrontation in appreciation for what you had done for them. I never dreamed it was this important to show respect to little tiny ants. Here truth is truth. There is no great or small. The smallest deed done in the name of God's love is worth more than a million great achievements made without His divine grace. As humans, we're always more interested in an immediate reward. All of life is like a great test. Everything is part of the examination. Humans are purified by this and are made ready for the beauties and the blessings of the world that awaits them beyond the trials of life. When you are suffering and feel sad, it seems as though the trials will never end. If you are patient, those moments of suffering gain you a blessed eternity. Their length is nothing from this point of view. I tried to take refuge in that thought. I don't know. I couldn't appreciate this like I should have. I guess I must have gone astray. God may give people different kinds of special gifts. This makes particularly immature souls jealous of the others. Especially if the gifted person does not conceal their strength sufficiently. This test is inescapable, isn't it? It is. Even if the road leads you to a land of never-ending paradise, you must pass through pits of suffering. What happens to you if you fall into a pit and destroy yourself? If you killed yourself, you would remain in the eternal pit. And yet, God's mercy may have delivered you from that fate. You're right. After that suicide experience, I could feel God's power all around me and within me more than ever. May God bless you. God bless Thanks. you. Thanks. May God bless you. Thanks. May God bless Thanks. you. May God bless you, sister. Thanks. Listen, you. You can't have that one, because that one's mine. My God, look at that. That bonk's taken, too. Why don't you come over here? Are you sure? You can stay here. But I couldn't. Where are you going to stay? I'll curl up over there. No, you can't do that. You mean you'll sleep on the floor? I'm used to it. Get to bed. But I... No more arguing. You're expecting. You can't possibly sleep on the floor now. May God bless you for your kindness. Come on. 
There. All right. All right. Relax, relax. Hand me that picture. May God bless you. Thanks. Same to you. to your mother. Oh. 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 It happened. They've I given us everything. Oh. Oh. oh, God, thank you for freeing me at last. Don't you know me? I'm Fatma, Ismail's wife. You should say Ismail's murderer. <gasps> so did you watch World of Mysteries last night? I uh, really did. Good. That's one of the best shows <laughs> I ever saw. Hello, how are you? Out for a walk? Oh, aren't you Fatma? You're not welcome here. Why does the government pardon people like you? But I... We don't want you around. Stay away from us. The nerve of what is the but government thinking? Uh, Why would they do that? Hello. Hi there, sweet boy. Let me give you a hug. Whose child are you? Let's see. I have a son just like you. His name is Ali. Get back. Let him alone. Don't touch him. Aisha, is that you? He's so cute, bless the Lord. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. But don't touch him again. As you wish, Aisha, but why? I didn't do anything. I love children. I don't understand what's so wrong about You're that. You're an evil woman, a murderer, and a thief. My God, you killed your husband, and for what? So you could steal a suitcase filled with money? Get out of here, Fatma. Everybody despises you. Get out of this village, now. Aisha, I'm innocent. I didn't steal. I didn't kill anybody. I adored my husband. So why did they throw you in prison? Why did they convict you? Because the person who accused me of the crime deceived the court too. I was slandered. Aisha, I am innocent. This lie has taken everything from me. I have lost my children. Impossible. Everyone here believes you're guilty. If you're innocent, you have to prove it. You can't just claim it. Stay away from my son. Get out of here. I swear I'm telling you the truth. You have to believe me. You could at least let me know where my children are. Tell me, I'm begging you. Hello? Hail me, buddy. What's up, man? I'm okay. Yeah, thanks. I have some news for you. Fatma, Ismail's wife. She's out of jail. She's right here. Everybody wants her to leave. I don't know anywhere but here. Uh-huh. Come on, buddy. I'll find out where she's staying, and I'll let you know right away. Uh. I didn't do anything. I am innocent. <laughs> Fatma. Oh, Feliz, you must hate me too. Fatma. Fatma, I believe in you. You have to be innocent. Somebody as good as you are can't have done something so evil. May the Lord smile upon you, Feliz. Thanks. Here, 
This is Majide's address. Take it. Are you sure? Uh-huh. I was going to ask about her. I heard she'd moved to the city. She never once brought Ali to visit me at the prison. <laughs> then you will have to go see her, Fatma. And then... And then what? And then you need to go visit Elif in this orphanage. Her address is right there on the paper. <laughs> I should get out of here before we're seen together. If they see me talking to you, they'll make my life a living hell. Thanks, Felice. God bless you and your family. I'll always love you for saving my daughter's life, Fatma. I would gladly give my life for yours. Thanks. I hope... God bless you, my dear. I hope you find your children, Fatma. <sighs> What can I do? I'm begging you. Sir, please let me know where my daughter is. Sorry, ma'am. It's not allowed. It's impossible. But I want my daughter back. They brought my daughter to you without telling me. I can take good care of her. I didn't want her in the child care system. She was taken against my will. I want my daughter back. I'm her real mother. There's nothing we can do now, ma'am. So many years have gone by since then. It is illegal for me to tell you where your daughter is. Are you trying to find Majide? That's right, I am. Isn't she here? They're out of town. Her husband had a job or something in another city. They'll be gone a while. I think they said three months or so. Three months? I can't wait that long. That's not so long, child. It'll go by before you know it. Be patient. They'll be back soon. You have no idea how much a mother suffers when she misses her children for even three hours, much less three months. This shop has three floors. It has to be cleaned from top to bottom every morning mm -hmm. and every evening. There are toilets on every floor. You have to keep the toilets clean at all times. And most important, make sure our showroom window is absolutely spotless. You can depend on me. I'll keep everything sparkling clean. I'm sure you'll do your best. That's what they all say. Mm. But getting it done means you have to get here early. I hope you don't live far away. Well, I don't really live anywhere right now. How's that? Um, I just got out of prison. I'm going to rent a place as soon as I get a job. You really just got out of prison? I can't believe that you didn't... I didn't what? You should have told me that before. We can't hire you. But why not? We just can't do it, that's all. A store like this can't be hiring ex-convicts. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're done. I was wrongly accused. I mean, I was sentenced to prison for a crime that I didn't commit. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that sucks. Have a nice day. Goodbye now.
Hey, sweetie, how you doing? What do you want? Are you working? What does that mean? Oh, it's just a simple question. Well, I'm not. I don't have a job. Mmm, lucky me. Come on, I'll take care of you. We can work together. What do you mean? Oh, you know better than I do what I mean, don't you? What are you talking about? <laughs> Stay away! <laughs> 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 He's not dead. Kick it, son. Come on. Look out. Got it. Now I'm going to kick. You catch. Heads up. Come on, Dad. I'll catch it. Okay, son. Bring that ball here. <gasps> Don't fool around. Bring the ball. Where did you come from? Don't worry. I'll get the ball. Come on, come son. On, son. All right, if you don't come, I'll come to you. Catch. What a sweet boy you are. What are you, you doing, are. son? Tolga! Tolga, no! Mm, what a sweet little thing. So cute. Tolga, get back! <gasps> Let the kid go! Stop! Help! Help me! You just tried to run off with my son! Help! Somebody! Get her! She's running away! Oh, my boy! <laughs> Don't go, dear. Come here. What's the problem, dear? You can tell me. You've been coming around here for days, and every time you're crying... They won't tell me where my little girl has gone to. They gave her to somebody else. They won't tell me who they gave her to. What's your child's name? Elif. She's about eight years old now. I was in jail. But I swear to you, I was completely innocent. Anyway... They brought my little girl here while I was serving my sentence, and they told her I was dead. Her father was murdered. They told her that you were dead? That's right. That's why I can't get my child back. I know that they have given your daughter to a rich family. What? Who did they give her to? Unfortunately, I don't know their name, but I remember something about them. There's no way I can get the address of the family, but I do know the neighborhood they lived in. Wait right there. <laughs> I'll write it down and bring it to you, all right? How can I find my daughter in such a big place? What shall I do? I haven't eaten in days. Lord, give me patience. Hello, excuse me? Anybody here? My God, forgive me, I'm hungry. I have to stay alive for my children. Hello, can I help you? <gasps> you dropped your crackers, lady. You want to pick them up? Mm. Mm. Ah. You look pretty wiped out, lady. Why don't you sit down for a while? This is hardly enough for a meal. Come, let me make you something more filling to eat. But I don't have anything to pay you with. That's pretty obvious. Otherwise, why would someone who looks like a good person stoop to swiping a couple of packs of crackers? I can see you're having a hard time. Yes, and I'm very ashamed, sir. Please forgive me. <sighs> All right, but answer me this. Would you like to have a cheese sandwich or not? <laughs> and then they wouldn't tell you who they gave your daughter to. Oh. You have lived through some hard times for a woman your age, Fatma. God give you patience. I'm trying to hold on. Thank you, Harun. So uh, what are you going to do now to get by? Who knows? I'll get a job and work. I have to find my son and daughter. But I don't really have a plan. Hear me out for a sec, Fatma. Why not go to work for me here? While I can't give you a proper home, maybe, you could sleep in the store, over there somewhere, if that's okay with you. 
You know, I'm getting pretty old. I can't do deliveries, but you could deliver the bread and the newspapers to the folks in the neighborhood. <laughs> and then you can help out around the shop. What do you say, kid? All right. I did something I never thought I would do in my life. I tried to steal something. Everyone has a darker side. A side which always tempts them with evil. Continually searching for your weakest moment to lure you to sin. I was so hungry. I was about to die. I thought it would be alright because I was desperate. I thought that I could work and eventually pay him back. And what if you had died without paying that debt? If you must commit a sin in order to survive, it is forgivable, but only if it's to survive. So then, if you stole three crackers in order to stay alive, but you only needed two, the third one would not be forgiven. It's still a sin, though its intent was not evil. Thanks be to God, the All-Merciful, he saved me from sin. That nice man Harun behaved so wisely. God blessed you with his grace, and did so through Harun. Once you have done that which is forbidden, the sin leaves an indelible stain upon the human soul. People often lose their sense of shame after they sin, making it easier to sin again. One sin leads to the next, and soon they can't stop. And then no good is left within their souls. Thanks be to the Lord and His wisdom. He prevented me from stealing and provided me a home. Yes? Good morning, ma'am. My name is Fatma. I work for Harun the Grocer. I do deliveries. Do you need anything? I have fresh baked bread if you like. Yeah, sure. I could actually use some bread. I also need a half a pound of Swiss cheese. Who's this, Mommy? Fatma? Did you hear me? I need Swiss cheese. Yes, of course, ma'am. Come inside, dear. All right, Mommy. Milk and the paper. Here you go, Fatba. Keep the change. Thank you, Suna, ma'am. <gasps> <laughs> Here, let me. It's all right. <laughs> I brought this just for you. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I was about to give something to your friend. This was your truck. Hang on, I got just the thing for you. This is your little baby doll. <laughs> Be sure to play nice with these toys and have fun. I hope you'll like them. Elif, Ali, where are you, my children? How long must I miss you? I can't bear living without you. I got an idea. Hey, why don't you all go visit with the fruit stand man? That's it. There you go. <laughs> this isn't working, my dear. What do you mean by that, Haroon? Look at you. I gave you all this work so you'd stop missing your children, and then at the first kids you see, what happened? You must start crying. Come on, you're killing me here. I know, Haroon, but I just can't help it. It's like having the flesh torn from my bones. It never stops torturing me. That's what it's like to miss your children. Part of you is gone, and yet it's like you can still feel them inside. One day I know I will see them again. Now that's not fair. You're making me cry in broad daylight. I'm a grown man for Pete's sake. Okay, we'll find your children, the Lord willing. But pull yourself together. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Uh-huh. This order needs to go to the Forest Glen area. Some people just moved in. All right, I'll get there right away. To number four. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <gasps> What's wrong, Fatma? Did I scare you? Heal me. What on earth do you think you're doing? Let go of me. You're the one who needs to let a few things go. You won't find the children, so stop looking. You're disturbing a lot of people, okay? 
And if that weren't bad enough, you're bothering me, too. So just drop it right now. No, Hilmi. I won't. You already ruined my life. I'm not afraid of you. Now get your filthy hands off me. You disgust me, you Fatma? twisted. Fatma, what's wrong? What's going on? I'm getting out of here, but I'm not leaving you alone. Remember that. Who was that guy? Him? I guess he was just some guy. I'm okay, really. I think he was trying to mug me. Okay, as long as you're safe. With me around, nobody's gonna hurt you again. God bless you, Haroon. I know you really mean it. Just when I was about to lose <laughs> my last hope, I met you. I can't thank you enough for that. Listen, kid, you don't have to. I like to help. Hey, in this world, we all have to look out for one another. No problem. See you later. Hello? Is your mother home? I brought the groceries. She's home. Mommy, a woman's here. She has a basket. Right there. You guys have just moved in, haven't you? What's your name? Elif. Elif? Elif? It's you! My girl! <laughs> Darling, you're my daughter! <laughs> hey, what's going on? I, I... well... Her name is Elif. You have the sweetest child I've ever seen. May God protect her. Well, thank you, but what was all that kissing and smooching about? It's just... I couldn't help it. She's so adorable. She is, but that's enough. Elif... Uh, that's enough, as in don't do that anymore. Dear Lord, you've brought her back to me. I found my daughter. Oh, the groceries. I still have your groceries. Please open the door. I don't care. Just get out of here. I Elif, mean it. Go. My child, finally I have found you. My God, at last you have answered my prayers. You let me find my daughter. Now please find a way to give her back to me. So pretty in that uniform. What a pretty little girl you've become, my darling. Look at her playing with the others. So sweet. Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ellie? Ellie? Ellie. Do you remember me, my dear? I came by to see you the other night. Come on, come. I'm going to take you to your mother. Come on, come on, it's all right. Don't be afraid. I had found my daughter. My years of longing were over. I was overjoyed to be with her. But why didn't you explain this to the woman who was her adopted parent? That would have been impossible. Maybe she would hold on to her. She wouldn't want to give her up. But all of that was mere assumption. You could have made your claim of motherhood, both respectfully, legally, and without sin. That mother supported your daughter and deserved consideration. She clothed her, fed her, she provided for her needs. She certainly wasn't very happy to see me. I doubt she would have even heard me out. What parent wouldn't have been startled to learn they might lose their child, adopted or not? Isn't that reaction normal for a parent who loves their child? I was scared to death of losing my child again. That's what a mother's love does. I couldn't let that happen. Love is a beautiful thing. But without discretion, it could become quite ugly. 
Don't you see I did what I did because I was her mother? Good and evil are weighed by the fairest standards here, and they apply equally to mothers. It only mattered to me that I found my child. I didn't think about the rest. Yes, that much is clear. Your love blinded you to all other considerations. In a way, you conducted yourself with a deliberate ignorance towards other people's needs. That's a choice, a choice that has severe consequences. What did you do next? God brought Aleph to me. The only thing left was to find Ali. Sweetheart, don't cry anymore, please. I want my mommy to take me home. Please take me back home. But darling, I am your mom. Why won't you believe me? You're crazy. My mom's at home, and I want to go there right now. No, sweet girl. It's hard to believe now, but I am actually your true mother. I swear that's true. And you have a brother, too. Did you know that? I have a brother? Of course. I found you. Now I have to find your brother. Then we can all be together. So where's my brother? Follow me. Let's go for a walk. Your brother is living with someone else right now, but we'll see him soon. He missed you a lot. He told me himself. What do you mean? I know you don't remember him, but he remembers you. He says, Elif? Elif, how is my sister doing? Really? Yes, of course. <gasps> oh, are you alright, Elif? Yeah. <gasps> Fadma? Oh. Yes, Majide, it's me. <laughs> Thank goodness you're back. Is this Aleph? It is. I found my daughter. <laughs> now I've come to get my son. Uh, okay, come in. Go on. Please. We couldn't do anything right. Ali was never able to forget you. He started to run away while he was little. He couldn't get far, and we would always find him or bring him home again. When we asked him why he ran off, he would say... I wanted to find my mother. My boy. Every day we would find him curled up in a corner, crying silently for you. We took him to all the doctors and even these holistic healers. But it was you that he could never forget. When he was old enough to go to school, they could never keep him there. All of his classmates learned to read in the usual three or four months. Ali was not keeping up with them. It took him two years. We asked his teachers why, they said it was some kind of reaction. He couldn't read, because he was so depressed and furious at us. That, or he could read, but he pretended that he couldn't. At that time, I didn't think I could bring him to you. I thought if I did, that would finally make him go to pieces. But then the worst thing a parent could ever imagine happened. It was six months ago. I sent him out to get some bread one evening, and he never came back. We did all we could. I swear to God, we did. The police hunted for him and went day in, day out, but they couldn't could find Could you look after Ella for a couple days, please? Of course I can, Fatma. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to find my son, Majide. <sighs> Um, excuse me. Do you know this boy? <laughs> excuse me. Can you have a look at this? Have you ever seen this child around here? I haven't seen him. Who is he? He is my son. His name's Ali. I guess he ran away. That's right, he did. What went down? Why did he run away? I wasn't with him back then. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. If you're not around, of course he'd run away. Hey, 
What the hell are you doing here? Come on, give me your money. Do it, woman. Hand it over. <sighs> give it up, damn it. What do you take me for? Give me your money or I'll kill you. Then kill me, boy. Go ahead and do it. If that's the way it is, that's the way it is. It doesn't matter if I Are die. you freaking nuts? This is a real knife. It's not a toy. I know. And I mean what I say. Go on, kill me. You're crazy. How'd you get so mental? Come and sit beside me. Come. Are you a runaway? Yeah. What do you care? Don't talk like that. I'm a mom. I felt so sorry the moment I saw you. Yeah, what for? Just look at yourself. Come on. This is not what you'd call a life. Like you're one to talk? Yeah, you got me. I'm no better off than you are. You look like you're a pretty smart kid. Did you ever see this boy around here? Yeah, I did. It's Ali. Ali? It is Ali. That boy is my son. Oh, really? Well, I wouldn't go around bragging about it. Why do you say that? Your son became a purse snatcher. Oh, my poor boy. Okay, so where is he? Hey, just chill out. He'll come at one. They go to work soon. Oh, dear Lord, please protect my child from any harm. This work is risky. It's a way of life and it's a way of death. Marat, don't talk like that. I know my son isn't an evil boy. There must be somebody forcing him to do this. You might be right. Purse snatching is a pretty tricky gimmick. It takes more than skill. Then who's the one using my son? I think he just joined the party. Ali, my son! Shut up! What are you doing? Let me go! Stop! I need to go to my son! Just chill out. Now listen to me. They'll beat you up and tear you down. He's got at least five lookouts ready to fire. If you mess with him, it's the last thing you'll do. Whatever they end up doing to you, he'll get worse. My son. Oh, what's wrong? My darling boy, what are they doing to you? He's already made his mark. He'll snatch it now. Ali, please don't! <clears throat> my dad! Wait, my dad! Ali! Hey. Police! Wait, ma'am! Help me! Slow down. Please, somebody! Ali. Please! Ma Help me! Wait, ma'am! You ran freaking fast, ma'am. You wore me out. Hurry, Murad, hurry. Take me to where my son is. Tell me, where does he stay? He's there in the industrial park. Wait, let me catch my breath. What does he have in there? This is Hilmi's hideout. He keeps the kids here. For purse snatching. What? Yeah, if you went in there, they all look like his slaves. And that's where he locks them up. What did you say his name was? There he is. Find anything. Move it, damn you. Oh, my dear lord. Do you know this dirtbag? Actually, I do. Okay, we gotta get out of here. They'll kill us if they see us. I'll bring Ali to you this evening. And after I get Ali, what about the other kids? Or you, for that matter? We're already lost, Fatma. We got nothing. What more can happen to us? I can't just walk away. You're being really stupid. Don't go in there. They'll kill you if you do. Any mother would gladly sacrifice her life for her child. If you're not a mother, you wouldn't understand. Nevertheless, it's true. Once you have a child of your own, you would do anything to protect it. I've made up my mind. I have to go in. Listen up, boys. I know you guys are holding out on me. You know what you low lowlifes get for that? Huh? You got a whole lot of hurt coming, huh? I'm nuts, I'm crazy. I don't know how to stop myself. Huh? Huh? Don't hold out on me. And I won't have to break your heads open. You get me? Huh? Huh? Please, You've sir. been warned. Stop. Yeah, that's right. I'm back. If one of you tries to steal one needle from me, you won't get anything for a damn week. Huh? You idiots think you can handle that? You don't stand a chance. You get me? You pathetic little freak. Huh? Huh? All right. I'll hook you up. You get your dope, you go to your cells. Go! Move! Move it! Move, you little jerks! 
When you don't have anything to do, I don't want you sitting on your butts all day long. You kids really suck. The police are on our tails. Open up. Open. They're gonna find out where we are in a couple of weeks, and then what happens, damn it? Move it. Come on. Open up. Go on, get in. Go on, get in. Come on. Come on. There you are. Now get out of my face. Get out. Go. Get. Open. That's it. Nicely done. Now get in there. Get in. Get in. Now. We'll move in a couple of weeks. Now shut up. Didn't you hear me? Shut up. Huh? Hey. Who's there? Hello? Who are you? How are you, Hilmi? Fatma. What are you doing here? I saw the extent of your influence and came here to make a deal with you. Make a deal? What kind of deal? Isn't there somewhere we can sit down that's more comfortable? Or would you like to talk here? Huh. Well, yeah, sure. Come right this way. Please. After you. Huh. All right. So tell me. How'd you find out about my operation? In a way, you're a very famous man, Hilmi. Everybody on the street knows you. Huh. Well, naturally, I have a reputation in my own circle. It's good to have a reputation. It makes people think they can trust you. Yes, you can trust me. You know, I really mean that. But you're a ah! fool to trust me, Hilmi! Fatma! Fatma! You know I'm going to kill you, right? You can't run away! I'm gonna hunt you down! Come here, damn you, Fatma! Fatma! I will kill you! Come here, damn you, Fatma! You can't run, Fatma! You are dead! You can't run from me! Majidi! Majide, I found my son. I found Ali, but I need your help. I will find you and kill you no matter where you hide, Fatma! 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 <clears throat> Ali? Where's Ali? Where's Ali? Lady, you got any stuff for us? If you got something, give it up. Run for it, kids. Forget the drugs and dope. Go on now, hurry, hurry, get out of here, go home. Ali? Ali? Son, get out of here quick! Ali? Uh, uh, Ali? My darling! I found you at last! My sweet boy! You're going to be alright. We'll get out of here. You'll come home. Are you my mother? Yes, that's right. I am. No, I don't have a mother. She left me years ago. I don't have a mom. I came back for you. We'll never be apart again. What the hell do you think you're doing, woman? Uh, uh, <laughs> Get over here. Uh, Quit rushing around, kid. Uh, I'll kill both of you. You hurt me bad, woman. Bad. Get out of here. Right now. I'll kill him, do you understand? I'm damn serious. Let my son go. My son, child. Look, look, I'm leaving, all right? I, I don't want anything from you. Give me my son back, please. Just look at you. Huh? You couldn't even take care of yourself if you wanted to. You look like you live in a garbage dump. The kid's okay with me. I give him his dope. When he does a couple of jobs, he eats his food and sleeps in a good bed with a roof over his head. What would happen if you took him, huh? You deserted him for years. Why should I give him to you, huh? Please, I'm begging you. Please give my son back to me. Okay, I let him go. What about these, huh? I guess you're going to take care of them too? Ha <laughs> ha. I will if I have to. Anything to keep him out of your hands, you degenerate! Let my child go! How can I trust you? Huh? Once you get out of here, you're going straight to the police. Am I right? Huh? huh? What the hell? You set me up! Witch! No one messes with me! Are you okay? 
Please call me mommy just this once, my son. Just this once. Mommy. I saw the children like that. And my son Ali. I went crazy. I did what I did. Maybe it was insane. I know it was brutal, but... But I was a mother. Every child is entrusted to his mother for his care and upbringing. That's the way it is meant to be. A child without the benefit of a mother or other family is left to be brought up by the world. Once you become a mother, your whole world changes. There is nothing more special than your child, and you think about nothing else. A mother must be careful to carry out her duties in God's name. If your love for your child usurps the place of that essential love, then this blessing turns into a fateful trial. How can such a thing happen? The Lord has given man a heart. It finds satisfaction loving God Almighty. If this love is replaced by affection for a child, it will destroy the one who loves. You were tested through your motherhood, through your wealth, your intelligence, and your knowledge. I never thought of it that way. He was making the children and my son into thieves, and using drugs to make them slaves. When you lose your mind, you don't have religion or faith anymore. That's what drove me crazy. If your rage was caused by your desire to keep the children and your son Ali from losing their faiths and from sinning, then you shall receive the reward for this. But is this what you really wanted? Perhaps you should have called the police and sought the assistance of others who could have helped. Yes, I might have, but I was in no shape to think about that then. The only thought I had was saving my son. And the hunger for revenge. That's right. But you just said the real reason was a little different from that base desire. It was both. The moment I saw Hilmi, I wanted to make him suffer for his sins. Was stabbing him with that knife coming from a good intention? Who knows? Maybe I paid for some of that by being murdered myself. What do you expect now? My life was filled with pain. I have tried to perform all my worship ever since I could remember. And then it's clear to me here that the pain we suffer in this world has a special beauty in the afterworld. Please let me go back. I will fill every moment of my life with the love of the Lord. Let me go back there and be a pure soul. That door is closed. Every human receives that chance only once. What sin did you want cleansed the most? I can't choose. I stole the crackers, and I got caught. That did turn out for the best. The sweet grocer helped me. And I attacked Hilmi out of contempt. I didn't have enough patience. But your intention is what's important. Every human and every being who knew your kindness and love speaks for you here. What will happen to me if that's not enough? Everyone feels fear in this moment, because all who come through here have known sin. But don't lose faith in the power of your kindness, and be equally assured that your pure devotion to God is all you need to save you from perdition's flames. I am afraid. I am very afraid. Please, dear God, please do not leave me destitute. I beseech you. I know I failed you. Please forgive me. Have mercy. <laughs> you reached out and you showed mercy, and mercy has been bestowed upon you in return. The ink of life in the pen of power has come to an end. In this great meeting place, stretching to endlessness, no one has suffered injustice or been treated unjustly. If good things have been given, they were given graciously as a favor. Oh, thank you, Lord, thank you. 
I've never felt such love. How beautiful to feel the pure elegance of the land of peace. Only you could bless me with such beauty. Thank you, dear Lord, for your blessing of mercy.